Today we'll be graphing more real life functions. I'm going to try the first example with you, then you're going to go on to the second. A home run, run is hit at a baseball game and follows the path of the equation h of x equals negative 1 2 hundredths x squared plus 2x plus 3, where x is the horizontal distance from home base and h of x is the height of the baseball above the ground when both are measured in feet. On the set of axes below, graph the function to show the distance the ball travels from start to finish. Label the axis fully, use space appropriately. So we have to first decide how we're going to figure, fit this onto the space that's given. So we need to pull up the equation in our, in our calculator to find the table. So we go to y equals, and we type in negative. And when doing a fraction, I like to put in parentheses, 1 divided by 200, close the parentheses, don't put x in the denominator, x squared plus 2x plus 3, and pull up the table. Now, my table is still set to quarters from yesterday, so I have to go back to table set, start at 0, and increase by 1, pull the table back up, and I notice that I have a lot of decimals here. So if I scroll down, I want to look for some whole number values. And this can be tedious, but you want to make this easier to do. I don't want to graph those crazy values. And I get 20 is 41. If I scroll down again, I get 40 is 75. So it looks like I can set my table to go up by 20s. So I'm going to go back to 0 and increase by 20 and see what happens. Now if I do that, I have 0, 3, and I have all whole number values. And if I scroll down, oh, I found my vertex, 200 and 203, and 403 as being like the last value here that I would graph. So I know that my y-axis has to go to 400, and my x, or sorry, my x-axis has to go to 400, and my y-axis has to go at least to 203. So I'm going to start setting up my graph. It looks like they gave enough us enough points here that we could spread this out pretty nicely. So I'm going to do every other by 20, which is going to take us a little while to do. So take your time and write those in. So I've got 400 seconds to the last, so hopefully you've got the same as mine, and it's much neater than mine. Then we're going to do the y-axis, and we have to go up to at least 203, and it looks like, again, I can use the same scale. So every other by 20. And I've got up to 220, so I've got just enough space. And we want to make sure we label completely. And if we remember back to the actual problem itself, it's all talking about the height above ground and the height, the distance also measured in feet. So where x is the horizontal distance from home base and h of x is the height. So both of these are height and feet. or distance in feet for the x. And height for the y.
and now we can start to graph our function. So we have 0 and 3 as our first point, 20 and 41, 40 and 75, 60 and 105, 80 and 131, I already made a mistake, so take your time and don't mess it up as you're going. 40 should have been 75. 60 is 105. 80 is 131. 100 is 153. Scrolling down. One twenty is one seventy one. One eighty is two oh one. Oh, sorry. One forty is one eighty five. One sixty is one ninety five. One eighty is two oh one. 200 is 203, 220 is 201. So now I'm going to start to see the symmetric pattern coming down. 240 is 195, 260 is 185, 280 is 171, 300 is 153, 320 is 131, 340 is 105, 360 is 75, 380 is 41, and 400 is 3. Then we very neatly draw our curve, trying to accentuate the actual parabola making it look like a nice neat, nicely neat nice neat symmetric curve and we're going to draw it all the way down to the x axis to show where the ball would have landed And there we have the path of the bas baseball when it's hit from home plate at three feet above ground and lands 400 feet away from home plate. So how many feet does the ball travel? We can say it's not exact, but we know it's about 400 feet. And what is the highest point the ball reaches? This we know is the vertex. And the vertex was at 200 and 203. So the vertex is 203 feet high. So if they asked what domain could be used for this function, the domain referring to the x values would be 0 to 400. If it was asking for the range, we would say 0 to 203, and that's the real, realistic domain and range of this function. So you're going to continue with the next problem, answering the questions as you go. Start the homework if you have time.